America is home to millions of people from diverse backgrounds, and it is also home to thousands of diverse dog breeds and mixes. We all have our opinion of which is the best dog around, but one dog has remained at the top of the AKC's list of registered dogs for more than 30 years. The intensely loyal, surprisingly smart, and wonderfully lovable Labrador Retriever. Hi there, and welcome to Biscuit and Friends. This video is all about the ever-popular Labrador Retriever. They've earned the top spot for being sweet, goofy, intelligent, athletic, and playful, and truly special dogs all around. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe and say hello in the comments below. We'd love to say thank you for being here. Now, let's get started. Fact number one, Labrador Retrievers are descendants of the St. John's dog. In the 1830s, fishermen in Newfoundland worked alongside a popular dog of the time called the St. John's dog. These dogs were excellent swimmers and they were happy to help haul long lines and fishing nets and even dive for fish that had slipped off the hook. St. John's dogs with short coats came to be preferred over their long coated counterparts because ice didn't accumulate on their coats as much. Sometimes these endearing fishing dogs would even entertain crowds at the island by diving into the water to retrieve rocks or other items thrown in by the passerby. These dogs became remarkably popular on the Canadian coast and soon afterward sailors began exporting the St. John's dog to England. There the St. John's dog was bred with British hunting dogs to eventually create the modern Labrador Retriever. Some believe that the St. John's dog is a direct ancestor to all modern British retrievers. Fact number two, St. John's dogs are now extinct. Although Labrador Retrievers were growing in popularity in England, back in Newfoundland, the St. John's dog was having a rough time. The Newfoundland government wanted to increase sheep breeding, and as a result, they imposed taxes on non-herding dogs. This reduced the breeding and sale of the St. John's dog. Then, in 1885, the British Parliament began to require long quarantine periods on imported dogs in an attempt to control the spread of rabies. This further reduced the profitability and popularity of exporting the dogs from Canada. By 1970, only two surviving St. John's dogs were found on the island, and they were both male. With no females to breed with, the breed went extinct. Fact number three, Pep the Lab went to prison. The most famous inmate at Philadelphia's Eastern State Penitentiary was probably Al Capone. But the second most famous inmate was most certainly a dog named Pep. In the 1920s, the prison was experiencing severe overcrowding. In an elaborate effort to boost morale, the warden, Colonel John Groom, brought Pep to Eastern State. The dog's mugshot was taken, he was given a prisoner number, and the official ledger listed his crime as murder and his sentence as life. Eventually, the story evolved that Pep was sentenced to prison for murdering a cat belonging to the wife of Pennsylvania Governor Guilford Pinchot. But in reality, he was just a very good boy who committed no crimes and became more of a prison mascot than an inmate. Pep spent two years at the Eastern State Penitentiary and was eventually transferred to Eastern State's Farm Branch, which was 35 miles outside of the city. He spent the rest of his life there happily by all accounts, and is buried under a favorite flower bed on the prison grounds. Fact number four, labs come in three colors. Unlike some dogs who have several color patterns, Labrador Retrievers come in only three colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. Some labs have been born silver, but it is unclear if they may have been crossed with other breeds, such as the Weimaraner, to produce this unusual coloring. Some labs are also called red labs, but this is actually just considered a reddish shade of yellow. Interestingly, a single Labrador Retriever litter can have all three colors thanks to the genes that cause pigmentation. Fact number five, the town of Sunol once had a Republican mayor. In 1981, an extremely popular lab mix named Bosco Ramos beat two humans in the mayorship race in the small town of Sunal, California. While the talk of Bosco's candidacy started out as a joke, it soon became serious and stayed that way until Bosco became unofficial mayor of the town. 
His campaign slogan was, a bone in every dish, a cat in every tree, and a fire hydrant on every corner. Bosco won the election and served as mayor of the town for 13 years until he passed away in 1994. Fact 6. Labs are excellent athletes. Labs are the Michael Phelps of the dog world. They are literally built to be excellent swimmers. Their double coat is not only beautiful, but is also water resistant. Their fur is thick enough to provide warmth, but light enough to allow them to move swiftly through water without dragging them down. Even more impressive is their webbed toes that allow them to move through the water like frogs, and their strong, otter-like tail helps to propel and guide them through the water. It also helps clear a coffee table in one swipe. But swimming is not the only talent labs have. They also excel at duck hunting, agility, obedience, flying disc competition, dock diving, and more. Fact number seven, labs love to work and they're good at it too. One of the reasons we love labs so much is because their intelligence and obedience make them good workers. While most dogs excel at one or two tasks, labs can do almost anything. Literally. Labs are used as service dogs, guide dogs, search and rescue dogs, drug and bomb detection, and even therapy dogs. In fact, the Guide Dogs of America states that 70% of their dogs are labs. Labs are exceptionally smart, which makes them easy to train. They also seem to have a natural desire to please their owners, and that makes them perfect guide dogs. Fact number eight, labs are not couch potatoes. If you are the type of dog owner who is generally laid back and doesn't spend time exercising your dogs, then a Labrador Retriever might not be for you. Labs need at least an hour or two of intense exercise every day to remain physically and mentally healthy. So consider taking up running, lake swimming, or duck hunting so you and your pup can spend plenty of active time together. Fact number nine, labs are lifesavers. Labs are the kind of dogs you want to have in your life at all times, but especially in a medical emergency. Labs excel at detecting illnesses and conditions like cancer, epilepsy, and diabetes. In 2003, a dog named Armstrong was the first to be trained to smell chemical changes that occur as a result of hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, which can be extremely dangerous and even fatal. Now, many labs work to keep their owners safe by alerting them to impending seizures, low blood sugar, narcolepsy, and even high stress or fear levels which can prevent anxiety or panic attacks. A study completed in 2019 found that dogs were able to correctly identify cancer in human blood samples with 97% accuracy. Now some dogs are even being trained to detect COVID-19. Fact number 10. Labradors are heroes. One of the most famous and heroic service dogs of all time was a yellow lab named Endel. Endel was born in Britain in 1995 with a significant joint condition in his front legs, which might have limited his options as a service dog. But thanks to his spirit, problem-solving ability, and intelligence, Endel qualified for the role of a fully certified service dog and was assigned to disabled ex-Royal Navy Chief Petty Officer Alan Parton. Alan had suffered severe head and brain injuries during his service that had caused amnesia, speech, and physical disabilities. Indle learned to help Alan with hundreds of daily tasks, including unloading the washing machine, operating elevators, and even using an ATM chip card. He learned sign language in order to communicate with Alan, and he knew how to summon help using the telephone if needed. But Endel's biggest test came in 2001, when Alan was knocked from his wheelchair by a passing car. Endel quickly put Alan into a recovery position, got his phone from under the car, and covered him with a blanket that he'd retrieved from the wheelchair. He then ran to a nearby hotel and barked until help came. Endel's selfless acts earned him many awards, spots in documentaries and TV shows, and the endless gratitude and appreciation of his owner. Endel passed away in 2009, but his legacy lives on. These are just a few of the many reasons why Labrador Retrievers are such special and beloved dogs. We'd love to hear what you love about your lab in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more great videos just like this. See you next time.